This project was made entirely in Blender, which is the free 3D software. I was able to export each individual component on the ship into a smaller model using the settings on the screen into a file format called STL. That file format is understood by Cura, which is another free software, which allows you to slice the model and make it into something that the 3D printer understands. One important thing I had to do here was deactivate the experimental enable coasting feature. For me, each part took from 20 to 30 hours to print. Once they were finally printed, I was able to glue them together using the DAP Rapid Fuse All-Purpose Adhesive Glue, which is very practical because it bonds in about 30 seconds or so. One thing I could have done here is include some sort of matching holes between the hull sections so I could insert PLA strips and make sure that all the hull sections align perfectly but I didn't do that in this build. This is the filament that I used along with the uh, el electronics, which these are the parts that go inside. I began installing the servo for the rudder before everything else was complete and also put in the propeller. This is the motor I used, which is a drone motor, which was pretty inexpensive. And the shaft, which actually ended up being one of the more expensive parts of the build as well as a receiver which is able to bind to my airplane radio. And this is the electronic speed controller which goes between the receiver and the motor. So once I had a finished hull, I sealed it with some paint and also some silicon. And afterwards, I did add some decorations with painting through acrylic paints, which some worked better than others, they have to be waterproof. Here you can see I also stuck a few details together. This is the missile rail and did some decorating along the way, but nothing major, just something that would look good. And then we're ready to put it in the water for the first time. This boat requires a couple of pounds of weight down the bottom to hold it within its flotation lines. As what you're seeing here is my friend playing with the boat and having fun. You'll notice that it does cavitate a little bit, but as it's not meant to be a speedboat, I didn't really have a problem with that, so it doesn't bother me. So unfortunately, I did stick in the rudder a little bit crookedly, but that's fixed in the current model. This being my first ever 3D print, I think it's an absolute success. It's been a lot of fun. It has a good level of complexity, and even though I did have to drill a hole through the hull because I was not able to access the servo that died when after I installed it, it still works very well. And I've been able to upload the model to sketchfab.com. If you go there, you'll have the whole model ready to print. It does print on a 120 by 135 millimeter bed, so it doesn't take a very large space. What did help me was that I had air radio equipment, but you would be able to do that in other ways if you wanted to. I just gave you the stuff that I had. So I hope this helps somebody and that you build something with it.